Tyler Corkman with us here. He got rained out last night on Friday night. I was surprised. I saw the press release come through, and I was like, can Am rained out? So you told me you were there the whole time. First of all, how are we doing? Good. How are you? Not bad. So it, it was. you got up there, what, at 4, and it was already raining or something like that? Yeah, it was sprinkling just a little bit, and then come a huge blob of rain. And then finally, at about 6.30ish, Tyler decided to cancel, which was definitely the smart thing to do, the way the track was, and definitely want to tore up some equipment. So they're definitely was a lot of rain oh, down yeah. on that surface. Yeah. Huh? So we would have had to run it in. We would have been lucky to start by 8, 8.30. Oh, and yeah, then... Probably 9 o'clock at least, the latest for hot laps there. But, mm -hmm. you know, glad they got it when done and called when they did. Yeah, because it's I guess it's smart, too, because you and I have been, well, I got a few more years than you, but you've grown up around <laughs> this. A lot of times when you do get a track like that, roughness probably more than likely is going to happen, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially some sportsman guys, they don't really care. And, that's the biggest thing with this sport, and right now you don't want to go out there and wreck your $50,000 race car and mm -hmm. whatever else, and you can't get parts, so it's good, very, very good call by the Bartlett's. And by the way, I hope you caught that number he threw out, because years ago a sportsman did not cut $50,000, but today, actually probably a little more if you buy like a brand new roller and get all new oh, stuff, yeah. right? Probably, if you go all brand new. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, and at can am and you tell me if I'm wrong here, this is just a perception I have from sitting in the grandstand, People aren't lifting anyway, so when everybody's fast on a fast track, it just seemed like bad things oh, yeah. could happen, oh, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so you left there going, fine, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Never thought about towing the Brewer in, because probably too late I by did. then. I did. Uh, we made there just in time for the feature. Oh. Uh, we started dead last in the feature, obviously, Actually, and yeah. finished seventh. Wow. How yeah. many cars? I think 24. So that is a solid run. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. You know, we kind of just unloaded it and just changed gears and said, go out there and run the thing and mm -hmm. i was surprisingly good at burton for the first time in a long time well guys used to tell me years ago that if you have a good setup that realistically should be all you need to change yeah uh, yep so they're right yeah so obviously you're especially now with coils when you get the good spring combinations and shot combinations and can read a track well then you can really dial yourself right in. Okay. How about today? Of course, we had a little bit different conditions last week, obviously. We had oh, what yeah. you would have had last night if you had run at Can-Am. So back to basics, I would imagine, today at, at Canandaigua. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, you know, especially running Can-Am on Friday nights and then coming here on Saturday, the tracks are about the same, just you run a 400 compared to a 300. Mm -hmm. And other than that, it's very beautiful places. Mm -hmm. And what he's talking about, too, the 400 is a harder tire. That's been pretty much the standard Can-Am tire for years, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So it eats much. tires a little Everybody. more? Yeah, I mean, a little bit just because you're so hard on the right rear mm -hmm. and just get a lot of tire heat. We were in the corners a while, too. So yeah. Does this track go through tires? Uh, no, not really. I've ran almost the same tire every night here for the feature and come mm -hmm. in and look at it and still got a fresh grind on it. Okay. And I saw Mike Mahaney's right front last week at Weedsport. Looked like it was barely touched, so it was did yeah, you run into weed, a similar situation. Yeah, in weed sport was beautiful last week. You know, of course, I might be a little biased with my dad doing the track, mm -hmm. but it was very racy. You know, yeah. there, you see a lot of guys go all over the place, which is not usually what happens at weed sport. Yeah, and then and, outside, I saw people able to use the outside in four. We couldn't do that since the yeah, they first did the redesign. That right? was awesome. Another thing there is guys coming off the bottom, you don't really have to go to the wall anymore. So the guy around the top can usually get that run and have a good So moving pass. everything in a little bit yep. changed a lot. Yeah, I think huh? he moved it in 14 feet, I think. Oh, it wasn't just, I thought it was more like five feet or something. No, I think it was 14 feet. That's almost two car widths yeah. when you get to it. Yep. So, so you left there smiling. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, were you smiling about the result? Or smiling, <laughs> I don't remember where you finished. Oh, uh, the result, too. I mean, we, we didn't time trial that well. We uh -huh. time trialed six and then actually won our heat running the top. Beautiful. So then, yeah, so then we redrew i think six and ended up fourth but nothing to hang your head on racing against them guys there where are your parents tonight uh my mom i think is working and my dad is at orange county oh, okay so they're running down there tonight yep. so okay good to see you again congratulations on the win like we said he already won here so who knows maybe i'll be seeing him in a few hours down in victory lane big thanks to bicknell racing products of course that's what uh, uh he is running here and of course swift springs uh as they were our latest sponsors to jump on board this week hit the blue e share ask for notifications you subscribed Oh, yeah. All right. If you ever think of a suggestion, please don't hesitate to ask, okay? Yep. Good to see you, man. Have fun Good tonight. Good to see you, too, Doug. Thank you.